All right, welcome back. Uh, where we last left off, we're getting ready to write some code where when this anchor tag is clicked, we then want to show this paragraph. So, at the end of our first statement, we're just going to hit enter, and we're going to write our second part. So now we're going to use jQuery get the anchor tag with an ID of paragraph anchor. Now, in this case, there's only one anchor tag, so we could just as easily write get A. But most likely, in uh, your web application, you're going to have more than one anchor tag, so you want to make sure that you have some specificity. Okay, so get the anchor tag with an ID of paragraph anchor, and that's going to grab this right here. We're going to do dot click. When it is clicked by a user, and once again, we're going to open parentheses and write a function. And once again, a function is just a few lines of code that will tell our document what to do. So open parentheses, close, because we're not going to pass in any variables. And then we're going to do it again. Open bracket, closed bracket. And then we need to close the parentheses from the initial function. Okay? And our statement is finished, so we create another semicolon. So... Now we have our click function. When the anchor tag is clicked, we're going to create a function. So we're going to grab that paragraph tag again, and we're going to show it. So jQuery grab paragraph with an ID of paragraph1 dot, instead of hide, show. And once again, we're not going to pass in any uh, key string, so we'll just open and close. It's the end of our statement, so we're going to create write a semicolon. Save it and run it in our browser again. Okay, so this right here, if you're confused, this is the second paragraph. Okay, just for a bit of clarity. Okay, so we've hidden the first paragraph, and now we're only showing the, the, the second. So let's see if our jQuery worked. We're going to click it, and our first paragraph is now showing. But it might be a little bit confusing because it instantly shows. What if we wanted to add just a little bit of animation to it to, let, to give the user some feedback to know that we're actually uh, changing the document? Well, there's a very easy way to do that. Let's go back to our code, and remember the show method? Well, it'll accept a few keywords, and some of those are slow, medium, and fast. And that corresponds to how quickly we want to show that paragraph. Now, if you didn't want to use those keywords, if you want to be very specific, um, you can use numbers. So we could do 1,000, okay? And that would show over the course of one second. But let's keep it simple. In quotations, we'll put slow. So we're going to get this paragraph with an ID of paragraph 1, and we're going to show it slowly, which I believe corresponds to about 0.6 seconds, maybe 0.8, I'm not sure. So let's run it again. Click it. Okay, so you see now we're getting a little bit of animation just with the use of a keyword. So, let's see what else we can do. What if instead of a keyword, we wanted to show it over the course of, I don't know, five seconds? Well, let's do 5000 for 5,000 milliseconds. Now, take notice here, when we're specifying with numbers, it's not in quotations. On the other hand, if we wanted to show it really fast, we do put it in quotations. So, that's something to remember. Run it again. Okay. So over five seconds, our data is beginning to show. Now, you may have noticed it kind of comes in somewhat strange, and that's because the show method is actually altering uh, three, three different uh, properties. It's altering the height. It's altering the width and it's altering the opacity all at the same time. 
So when you click it, you'll see it slowly get higher, it'll slowly get wider, and the op opacity will make its way from zero to one. Let's try it one more time. See, it's getting higher, it's getting wider, and it's getting uh, more, um, uh, can't think of the word, but it doesn't matter, you know what I mean. So, you can see here your first lesson in jQuery and you're already beginning to manipulate code. So, let's say that you don't like that show method the way that um, it affects all three. What if you just want it to slide down? Okay, you just want it to go from invisible to visible and just slide it down. Well, instead of show, we're going to change it to the slide down method. You see how simple it is to learn jQuery when uh, the methods that they use are, are just so easy to understand. Let's run it again. And you know what? Let's change 5000. Let's just change it back to slow. Keep it simple. And I'm going to run my page again. Alright, and now instead of the opacity changing or the width, the only thing that's going to change is the height of the element. So click it and it's going to just slide down. You see? So I'm sure you're creative enough, creative enough to figure out all the different uses that uh, you can use this for in your web application. So hopefully this gave you a first glance at what's possible with jQuery. Um, if you're intrigued by this and you want to take it a little bit further, there's a few resources that you can use. First, go to jQuery's website. Actually, while that's loading, let's just give it a moment. I'm on a, I'm on a wireless connection, so things are going a bit slow up here. But anyway, you can go to my blog at detachdesigns.com slash blog. And if you go to the category section, there's a jQuery category. Yeah, I apologize, my wireless connection is so slow, it's not even loading my full page. But anyways, uh, you click on the jQuery category on my website, and that'll have many tutorials for you. And also, if you go to jQuery.com, you click on this document do documentation link, and that'll... Uh, That'll take you to a lot of material that'll teach you, and also a tutorials page. And that's for uh, just random users that have tutorials and screencasts. I think I actually have a few up here. Yep, learn about the animation abilities of jQuery. And that'll take you to the next step. So, you come here, come to my blog, go to jQuery.com. Uh, there's so many resources, and I really highly recommend that you get into this uh, fantastic library. So, hope this helped. If it did, I'm glad. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody.